Thank you for joining us today on Eli Works. Uh, our last episode, we got our first successful cut. That's pretty exciting. I think we're up to 75 viewers now. That's exciting too. Spent a few minutes today to fiddle with the feed rate. So those were cut at 600 millimeters a minute. So we'll see if we can do anything to clean up that slag. We can always play with power and air pressure too. I did do one that the original one was like 70 PSI, I think, or 65 and 40 amps. That was the first one we did. Did one before work, and that one was at 27 amps and 30 PSI. It's still at 600 millimeters a minute. That still had a lot of slag. So we'll see what we can do today. Maybe we can figure out a setting for this. I think it's 24 gauge steel I'm using. So the first test anybody should do when they have a new machine is take it nice and easy and crank this up to 4,000 millimeters a minute and we'll see how that does. Well, I think it's considerably better really, but I think it's too fast for our machine. I think the corners, the little tiny squares come out all weird, but I might turn the heat down and then slow it down. We're going to run this one at 1500 millimeters a minute, 27 amps, 30 psi. I'm not sure my machine can really handle any of the small stuff that fast. So if I had a big sweeping part, I think heck yeah, I'd run it at 4,000. I might be able to do that stuff in Fusion, pick the holes and do them separate speeds and such things. I'll have to look into that more. I, I was busy getting this going. So, this one didn't cut too bad. I think some of these look a little weird because the sheet moved when I was traveling. They're like a little out of position, but I set the Z a little low and it was dragging too much. Anyway, that one looks pretty good too. That's 27 amps, 30 PSI, 1500 millimeters a minute. 34 amps. 50 PSI, 2,000 millimeters a minute.
I tabbed all these pieces so they won't flip up. That was definitely more than enough. Well, there we have it, guys and gals. Successful part cut. Pretty smooth. And there's some slag, and it's not perfect, but pretty smooth. Didn't really warp a ton. I think I warped it more bending it out of there. I'll have to run less tabs next time. But cool stuff.